Aquaman, King of the Seven Seas. We finally get the standalone Aquaman movie we've been waiting for since his introduction in the Justice League, which that movie kind of left the DC Universe feeling blah. So Aquaman brings new life into the franchise by shaking things up and by not taking itself too seriously. This film is pretty funny, you know, compared to Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman. After seeing how funny Jason Momoa was on SNL, I was I was pretty excited to see him continue to be goofy over in the Aquaman and I was not disappointed. The film shows the origin of Aquaman, from his Sea Queen mother to his lighthouse keeper father. It goes through his training with Willem Dafoe as Volko and shows his ascension to become the King of Atlantis. Now, even with all of that, the filmmaker still kept some of the silliness from the comic and the cartoon while integrating that look and feel of the DCU. Hey, you want to talk about action? This movie had it. That sequence, though, when Aquaman was fighting Manta on the rooftops, well, that was freaking awesome. I mean, all the land battles were awesome. You had great fight choreography, you had the explosions, just Oh yeah. However, the underwater battles? No. It's Aquaman. Of course the underwater battles are gonna be cheesy and look kinda weird. I mean, the physics underwater are different. Whatever they were trying to do with the underwater stuff, it, it just felt weird. You know, they're just trying to flop around and jiggle around and I don't know, man. It just felt weird. That's all I got. There were times where I was laughing along with the movie at the jokes that Aquaman was making, and then there was times I was laughing at the, the campiness of the movie. Whether or not that was on purpose, your call. Okay, I'll admit it. The suits they wore on Land to Breathe reminded me of that reverse scuba suit from Futurama, and Manta looked more like a Power Ranger villain than a menacing superhero bad guy. But that's part of the fun. Between the hundreds of Marvel and DC movies and TV shows, there's really nothing new that can be done with these basic plots for these movies. I'm not a huge superhero movie fan, and this film did not change my opinion. But James Wan did take this movie in a new direction, which was risky, but I think it'll pay off for the true fans for these types of films. The premise is that Aquaman is a sea king and has to return to his kingdom to fight for control of the throne. It's kind of like Thor needing to return to Asgard. The film is trying to achieve what Marvel movies do, it just didn't quite hit that level of the greats. This film is more for Ragnarok than it is Black Panther. The film puts a fresh spin on superheroes in the DCU, but still keeps the camp from the cartoon that I loved as a child. Now, it's not Marvel, but it is a step in the right direction. 8 out of 10. I gotta take some points off of that cartoonish underwater battle stuff, but the fights on land, awesome. 7 out of 10. I'll give it points for trying something new, even if it didn't make this comic book movie something special. 5 out of 10. I was laughing quite a lot, sometimes with the movie, sometimes at the movie, which is just good camp. 7 out of 10. All of the superhero movies follow the same story plot points, so there isn't much in terms of suspense. 4 out of 10. We here at Who's Review give Aquaman the overall rating of Marvelous Attempt. This movie does not take itself too seriously, which is a welcome change within the DC Universe. You can definitely tell the filmmakers were trying to capture or duplicate some of that magic of Marvel. You know, you had the spectacle, the sense of humor, those relatable characters. It didn't really quite reach the level that Marvel's currently at, but we do appreciate the attempt though, and if the movie achieved anything, it's to make us not so pessimistic about the future of the DCU. Well, there you have it. That's our review. What do you think? Are we way off, right on? Let us know in the comments section below and we'll check it out and respond. As always, if you want to stay up to date on all things Who's Review, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also follow us on our brand new app, Portal, where you can see all of our reviews as well. Thanks for checking us out here at Who's Review, where everyone's a critic. The film is a fresh step up, fresh spin.